and the wind whipping outside the Virginia Beach Sports Center here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's day number two of the 2023 Division II Indoor Track and Field National Championships. Matt Martucci flying solo this afternoon as we uh, whittle down the field a little bit, 275 men and women, a total of 550 student athletes competing over the course of these last two days. And you see the hurdles are all set up, and that's exactly where we're going to start. The women's 60-meter hurdles, uh, the finals, our first event this afternoon. Uh, eight different hurdlers on the women's side, followed by eight on the men, competing for what will be the top prize to stand at the top of the podium. And part of that field, uh, all eyes on Denisha Cartwright, the junior from Minnesota State, and uh, someone who has been a national champion before. She comes in with the top time at 8.21 seconds. Esther Conde Turpin, the freshman from Azusa Pacific, the second best time out of yesterday's heats, 8.29. And then Kiara Smith, the junior from Missouri Southern, at what is 8.31, followed by Audrey and A. Hayden, a sophomore out of Pittsburgh State, 8.32. So those are the top three times coming out of the field this afternoon. It should be a great second day, jammed, packed with events as far as uh, how the schedule is going to work this afternoon. Women's 60-meter hurdles followed by the men's 60 meters. And then in terms of the sprints, the men's pole vault uh, sandwiched in between, by the way, but we go to the women's 60 meters. Uh, men's triple jump will also be going on shortly after that, followed by the men's 60 meters, women's and men's mile, men's shot put. Then uh, around the 5 o'clock hour, women's 400 meters, men's 400 meters, men's high jump final. These are all finals today. Women's 800 meters, men's 800, the women's 200, men's 200, and then men's and women's 3,000, followed by the women's and men's 4 by 400 meter relay, and closing the evening with what are our team awards. So if you didn't get all that, I'm sure we'll probably review it again at some point over the course of the next few hours. But our hurdlers are in fact ready. The two lanes to watch, Conde Turpin, the freshman in lane three, and Cartwright, who is uh, in fact in lane four. Misha Cartwright hailing from Nassau in the Bahamas. Step before first team All-American, both outdoor and indoor. Cartwright will have a busy day ahead of herself. That's the second best time in the 60 meter dash as well. Joining uh, only Cal PA's Devon Franklin in that event. So once again, lane one, Shanette Allison, sophomore from Lincoln, Missouri. Lane two, Patrice Clark, Connie Turpin, lane three, Cartwright, lane four. Laura Smith, lane five. Audriana Hagen in lane six. And then Melody Jones, lane seven. Sophia Myers, lane eight. Hagen from Pittsburgh State. Jones, Lenore Ryan. And Myers is a junior from Lincoln in Missouri. Respective heats with their respective times to compete for a national championship this afternoon.
before. in the top two times. Starting our afternoon, the women's 60 meter hurdles for the national championship here at Division II. Cartwright a full tenth of a second faster than Smith. Jump coming out of the blocks. Meet record 8.05 set what was 13 years ago by Indira Spence. So about six hundredths of a second shy of that one. Tanisha Cartwright once again, a national champion. He's the hurdles up for the men. They're up next. The Pittsburgh State hurdlers, the ones to pay attention to here. yesterday, 7.77. William Gray, a senior from Limestone, with the fourth best mark, 7.87 seconds. Not much of a break in between. We'll go right into the women's 60 meters. As the competitors warming up uh, to what is to the right of our vantage point. Once again, our 60 meter hurdles lanes. Number one, Dakari Bush, junior from Harding, 7.98. Jack Belon, Scott, freshman. Kale Cassett, sophomore from Lee, 7.77. Then Tinch, we talked about 7.52. The junior from Pittsburgh State. Dayton Williams, lane 5, sophomore from Pittsburgh State, 7.66. And after that, 6.08. William Gray, senior from Limestone, 7.87. And Rashad Bartlett. Missouri, 7.98 seconds. And TJ Caldwell, who's another Pittsburgh State hurdler. A sophomore and 7.99 seconds. So that's what we're looking at.
Here's Jacqueline Scott. Standing right next to him, lane number three, Kale Kassin. Who was very impressive in his respective heat yesterday. Interesting to see the top three young men with the, the three best times. All sitting, relaxing. Other five standing. Cordell Tinch with the hands on hips. Then Scott over there in lane two, Bush in lane one. On what's day number two of our coverage. Here at the D2 Indoor Track and Field Championships. Glad to be with you this afternoon. Matt Martucci, glad that you stopped by. Cordell Tinch, a Kansas transfer. And just a little over a month ago, named the National Athlete of the Week for all of Division II. And while we have the time, let's take a look at our heptathlon results. On the men's side, Jacob Tortson, who ended up uh, with what was a personal best on the day. Just saw the weight throw, then able to take care of the high jump with a leap of 2.05 meters, pole vault, at 4.65 for Tordson. And then was in second place heading in to the 1,000 meters, but was able to overtake late and win uh, the men's heptathlon. So congratulations to Jacob Tordson. 5,623 points, Azusa Pacific's Aaron Worrell, 5,604, and then Stephen Schmidt from Northwest Nazarene, 5,523. That puts a bow on your men's heptathlon for the afternoon. Decent amount of time to wait for these young men. 3.50, the official scheduled start. And still sitting on what is 3.48, so a couple minutes away. Cordell Tinch, quite an athlete. And a look at Denisha Cartwright standing at the, the top of the podium. Holding her national championship trophy. And 
once again for the second straight year. Denisha Cartwright able to go home with NCAA hardware. Bush, Scott, Casson, Tinch, Williams, Gray, Bartlett, and Caldwell. Lanes one through eight here in the 60 meter hurdles. Three fifty is upon us, and we're ready to roll. Watch the two teammates side by side from Pittsburgh State. If you're looking left to right. Tinch closest to the, the right side of your screen. Lane number four, Williams right next to him, lane five. Here we go. Tinch and Williams side by side. Tinch out in front and across the finish line. Cordell Tinch is your national champion in the men's 60 meter hurdles. His teammate, Dalen Williams, two-tenths of a second behind him. And Casson from Lee, who ended up coming in with what was the third best time yesterday. A little bit off that in fourth place. Gray, Bush, Caldwell, and Bartlett. Five through eight. Cordell Tinch, a top 10 competitor in NCAA indoor 60 meter hurdles history. And adding even more to his resume this afternoon. Ran what was a 7-5 flat on his home track earlier this year at what was the eighth annual indoor gorilla classic which broke what was a seven-year-old division record. And helping his team in Pittsburgh State on the men's side get out to what is a sizable lead right now in terms of overall points. Coming up shortly, we'll move over to the women's 60 meters. Where once again, Denisha Cartwright hoping to win another national championship. But could be potentially pretty tight. Devon Franklin, who's the senior from Cal PA, out of the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference, top time yesterday. And then after that, it's Cartwright's teammate, Michaela Jackson, as well as the freshman, Alexis Brown. Brown, the third best time, 7.38. And Jackson at 7.39. And the other four, Sade D'Souza, freshman from Carson Newman. 
Marie Eloise Leclerc from Simon Fraser. Isabella Hole, senior from Washburn. Tania Looney, freshman from Pittsburgh State. All up against Jackson, Franklin, Cartwright, and Brown. And men's 60 meters yesterday. Top time coming into that one, Dario Matau. Sophomore from Lenore Rhine. 6.66 seconds, 60 meter hurdles. At the podium, Cordell Tinch with what has been a record setting last month. And adding even more to the resume as a national champion in the men's 60 meter hurdles. While we have the time, let's recap the women's pentathlon. Nicole Warwick. With the weight throw. And then down the runway, long jump. 5.99 meters was second in that particular event overall. Her throw, by the way, 12.39 meters. And uh, took third in the 800 overall and ends up top of the podium. 4,066 points for Nicole Warwick from Azusa Pacific. Kayla Goodwin in second from Central Missouri, 4,018 points. And then uh, Warwick's teammate, Alyssa Henry, 3,964 points. That's your women's pentathlon this afternoon. Two Minnesota State sprinters, Jackson and Cartwright. Minnesota State Mavericks, Jackson, first team All-American. On a four by 100 meter relay team in the outdoor portion. And first team All-American in the 60 meters. Second teamer in the 200 meter dash and the long jump. One, Sade D'Souza, Carson Newman, a freshman, 7.41 seconds. Marie Eloise Leclerc, sophomore from Simon Fraser, 7.4. Lane number two, Michaela Jackson in lane three, 7.39 seconds, the junior from Minnesota State. And Devon Franklin, the one to pay attention to in lane number four, the senior from Cal PA, 7.28. Cartwright, the junior Minnesota State, 7.29. Brown from Lenore Rhine, freshman, 7.38. Isabella Hall, senior Washburn, lane seven, 7.49. And Tania Looney, the freshman from Pittsburgh State, in lane number eight. And what's a time of 7.43 seconds. Hardest part of this day uh, for any of these athletes is just the waiting. The anticipation of waiting to potentially get going. After you, you put in all that work. And then you just try to do your best to keep your head clear.
have to feel pretty good, though, if you're Denisha Cartwright. You've already locked up a national championship in one event. Can you do it in a second one? She and Franklin, lane four and five, actually the three middle lanes, all the ones to pay attention to. Jackson lane three, Franklin four, Cartwright five. National championship of the women's 60 meters. Off they go. Cartwright with a good jump out of her lane, pushing and across the finish line. And Michaela Jackson with the surprise, just edging Franklin from Cal PA. By seven hundredths of a second. Cartwright ends up in third. So Franklin had the best time coming in. Cartwright the second best. It doesn't end up going that way. Jackson is the national champion. The 60-meter dash and hurdles. Men's triple jump also set to, to take place in the next few minutes. And speaking of uh, the triple jump, let's take a look at, at the women's side. Starting with third place, Kayla Goodwin, the sophomore, from what is Central Missouri, 12.84 meters, which was good enough for third on the podium. And what was a personal best for her, hence the reaction, Taylor Nellums, junior from West Texas A&M, 12.95 meters. And good enough for what was second. And then Anna Childress from Pittsburgh State. Look at that form. A personal best, 13.26 meters for Childress. She ends up the national champion in the women's triple jump. So once again, Childress, 13.26 meters. Nellums at 12.95. And Goodwin, 12.84. That is your women's triple jump. Men's 60 meters, eight sprinters, just like on the women's side. And it's eight of them that are separated by what is nine hundredths of a second in total from top time to the last time. Dario Mattel, sophomore from Lenore Rhine, 6.66 seconds yesterday. Next best time, Isaac Bozio, freshman from West Texas A&M, 6.7. Xavier Carmichael, freshman Pittsburgh State, 6.72. Terrell Robinson, a freshman from St. Augustine's, 6.73. As is uh, Michael Gizzi, sophomore from Alabama Huntsville, UAH, 6.73 as well. 
And then a couple six, seven, fours. A.J. Evans, the junior from Pittsburgh State. And Malachi Adams, the junior from Tiffin. And the final time, Makanakai Charamba, sophomore from Carson Newman, 6.75 seconds. Women's side, Minnesota State with what is a nine-point lead on Azusa Pacific. Pittsburgh State on the men's side, a sizable lead in uh, their respective competition. 30 total points, Missouri Southern uh, the next best with what is 16. Adam State, Wingate, Concordia, St. Paul, Colorado School of Mines. All tied for third place right now. Four-way tie there. And after Azusa Pacific on the women's side, West Texas A&M, Central Missouri, Pittsburgh State women in the top five. And then uh, two-way tie for sixth, Adam State and Colorado School of Mines. Podium time after the women's 60 meters. Kayla Jackson destined to do this for at least one more year. Both she and Cartwright, juniors at Minnesota State. And both likely will be on that podium again this time next year. Here are your lanes for the men's 60 meter dash. Evans lane one, Pittsburgh State. Xavier Carmichael, lane two, the freshman, also Pittsburgh State. Isaac Bonsio, freshman from West Texas A&M, who was very impressive yesterday. Lane number three, Dario Matau, lane four, sophomore from Lenore Ryan. Terrell Robinson, Jr., freshman from St. Augustine's, lane five. Malachi Adams, Jr., from Tiffin, lane six. Michael Gizzi, sophomore from Alabama Huntsville, in lane seven, and Makanakash Charamba, sophomore from uh, Carson Newman, in uh, lane number eight. Men's 60 meters, followed by about a 10 minute gap until the women's mile, then the men's mile, men's shot put, women's 400 meters, men's 400. Men's high jump sandwiched in between, women's 800 meters, then men's 800 meters, women's and men's 200, women's and men's 3,000, women's and men's 4x400 four meter relay, and then our team awards. Great crowd here early on at the venue. There's a, a cheerleading competition going on uh, across the way at the convention center right next door, which I'm sure made parking for some folks uh, a little bit interesting. But everybody able to get in the building and be able to participate in the festivities. Dario Matau, lane number four, the top time coming in. From Lenore Rhine. Hometown Santon, South Africa. A 
which actually forms part of the city of Johannesburg. Part of the greater Johannesburg metro area. Sent an accommodation of its two suburbs, Sandown and Bryanston. So you take those two combined and you get Sandton. Matau in lane four. Bazio lane three. The impressive freshman from West Texas A&M. Men's 60 meter dash. We'll line them up again. Evans, Carmichael, Bazio, Mattel, Robbins Jr., Adams, Gizzi, and Charamba. That is your field, one through eight. Pittsburgh State, Pittsburgh State, West Texas A&M, Lenore Ryan, St. Augustine's, Tiffin, UAH, Carson Newman by school. And 60 meters for a national championship here in Virginia Beach. And here we go. Watch Mattel, lane four. Bazio in lane three. Bazio flying, pushing. And Bonsio, your national champion with a time of 6.62. Isaac Bonsio, the freshman from West Texas A&M. Five hundredths of a second faster than Dario Matau. Evans from Pittsburgh State, 6.68. Followed by Xavier Carmichael. And then Robinson, Adams, Gizzy, and Charamba. And most of those actually, with the exception of Bozio and Mattel, flip-flopping. Very similar to how the times ended up uh, coming in out of the heats. Isaac Bonsio, the native of Ghana. Talked about him yesterday, gold medalist in the 4x100 meter relay, silver in the 4x4, and bronze in the 100 meters. That was at the 2022 All-Africa University Games. Twenty-three years of age, Isaac Bonsio and a sports and exercise science major. So that takes care of our sprints for a little while. Well, we have the time here in between events. Team standings, Pittsburgh State keeps racking up those points. Missouri Southern in second, and then Lenore Ryan and Adams State, three and four. And the women's side, 
the national championships individually from Cartwright and Jackson, certainly helping Minnesota State stand right now at the top, 39 points. Followed by Azusa Pacific, West Texas A&M, and Central Missouri. So WTA and Central Missouri uh, tied for what is third place with 27 points apiece. What is, in fact, a jam-packed Saturday afternoon. Here from what's an impressive venue here at the Virginia Beach Sports Center. Just recapping some of what's happened. Denisha Cartwright taking home the national championship of the women's 60-meter hurdles. Cordell Tinch, Pittsburgh State stud junior with a national title in the men's 60 meters. Michaela Jackson winning the women's 60 meters. And then Isaac Bozio. With the national championship in the men's 60. Now getting ready for our women's one mile run. And some of the best ones that we saw yesterday, including Stephanie Cotter, the Cork, Ireland native from Adams State. She's a junior. Eleonora Kurtabi, Claudia O'Malley, Kurtabi from West Texas A&M, O'Malley from Grand Valley State. And then uh, the sixth year from, from Minnesota Duluth, Kaylee Peterson. Hardware coming, Batal from Lenore Ryan, and then Isaac Bozio. A national champion in his first year at West Texas A&M. Just saw Kaylee Peterson raising her arms. Peterson from Minnesota Duluth, but a North Dakota native. Meg Shesky, the junior from Hillsdale, pictured. Shesky from Hillsdale, Maggie McCleskey, freshman from Adams State, 447.94. Courtney McAllenden, senior from Westminster, 449.68. Kaylee Bayer. Junior from Winona State, 447.65. Allison Beasley, sophomore West Colorado, 448.66. Stephanie Cotter from Adams State, who we talked about previously, 449.57. Eleonora Kurtabi, junior from West Texas A&M, 447.42. Claudia O'Malley, the junior from Grand Valley State, 446.50 part of that uh, distance medley relay national championship team from yesterday. And then Kaylee Peterson from Minnesota Duluth, 449.54. So Shesky, McCleskey, McAllenden, Bayer, Beasley, Cotter, Kurtabi, O'Malley, and Peterson. Meet record set back on March 12, 2016, a time of four minutes, 35.48 seconds. That was Emily Oren, March 12, 2016. So almost seven years ago to the day. Facility record, four minutes, 31 seconds, 31.39 seconds, 431.39 by Josette Norris. And then the D2 record set back in 2022 by Bernice Client Merle. 
431.99. And we're off in the women's mile. Best time was O'Malley, 446.5 coming in. On the inside of your screen in the white singlet has number eight on. Claudia O'Malley. It's O'Malley on the outside of the field. Cotter in the green singlet on the inside. And then Kurtabi, who also had a, a time that was several seconds ahead of some of the other competitors. Wearing number seven, red singlet. Cotter, part of an Adam State distance medley relay team. right there with Grand Valley State. But unable to overcome down the stretch yesterday. Not quite halfway through yet. Cotter and Kurtabi. Followed by O'Malley. Kaylee Bayer from Winona State also in there. Cotter at the halfway point, still the one to set the pace. Slimmest of leads, though, about two hundredths of a second separating her and Kurtabi. More than halfway gone in the women's one mile. Who's our national champion this afternoon? and Kurtabi. O'Malley on the inside, Peterson. Just outside shoulder of Cotter. Now Cotter really starting to push. Trying to widen the gap between she and Kurtabi. Stephanie Cotter, the Irish national. One more trip around. Caught her with enough of a gap that she actually had time to look over her shoulder. Can Kurtabi catch her? That last turn, Stephanie Cotter from Adams State. Down the stretch, Cotter is the national champion.
449.86 her time. Kaylee Peterson behind her, Kurtabi in third. And only two hundredths of a second separating the two of them. Followed by Bayer O'Malley. And then McAllendon, Beasley, McCleskey, and Shesky. Talked about Stephanie Cotter's prowess on the cross country circuit. Turned 24 years of age back in January. And has been a staple not only uh, in the NCAA, but really all over the world when it comes to both uh, domestic competition, international competition in Ireland and Europe. Won the 1500 meters last year on the outdoor side. 414.96 was her time then. And the men now getting ready. inside of 10 minutes from what is their start. Men's mile, men's shot put, women's 400 and men's 400. Men's high jump, women's and men's 800, women's and men's 200. Then the 3,000 on both sides, and then both four by 400 meter relays, following up with the team awards. And right now, Pittsburgh State with a sizable lead on the men's side, Minnesota State on the women's. course in the men's mile Miguel Coca and Devante Jet Reynolds two of the ones to pay attention to Coca very impressive yesterday 407.38 his time coming in In terms of top times here, Coca, Dylan Haviland from Northwood, Luke Stuckey from Nebraska, Nebraska Kearney, Jagger Slotoff, freshman from UC Colorado Springs, Devontae Jet Reynolds from Adams State, Hunter Hutton from West Oregon, Evan Graff, UC Colorado Springs, and then Hudson Majeski, sophomore from Colorado Christian. Miguel Vega there wearing number eight. Hometown, Las Vegas, New Mexico, Las Vegas. Coco, who will celebrate his 23rd birthday later this week. Trying to finish strong. 
wants to one day become a dental hygienist, Miguel Coca. Honestly, folks didn't even know prior to, to this race that there was a, a Las Vegas, New Mexico. But apparently known as a, a shipping point for wool, livestock, lumber, and dairy products. And also uh, university-wise, the home of New Mexico Highlands University, which has roots all the way back to 1893. There's Vega and his teammate, Devontae Jet Reynolds. Hunter Hutton, Luke Stuckey, Evan Graff, Jaggers Lotoff, Luke Julian, who had the second best time. At 407.44 behind Coca. And then Dylan Haviland, ready on the podium for the women's mile. Stephanie Cotter, Kaylee Peterson, and the Italian Eleonora Curtabi end up one through three. Cotter with what was a, a great final push that started over the, about the last lap and a half. Just kept widening the gap and made it so tough for anybody to catch her down that final stretch. That final straight away. Claudia O'Malley from Grand Valley State in fifth place. Kaylee Bayer accepting her hardware, junior from Winona State in fourth. There's Kurtabi in third. It was actually O'Malley who finished fifth who came in with the top time. But in the end, top of the podium, or Stephanie Cotter, who accepts her hardware from the legendary coach, Damon Martin. Coaches both cross country and track and field. And his specialty, always the distance runners. Winner of what was 30 National Coach of the Year awards, Damon Martin. Top time, once again, is Coca's, 407.38, but don't discount Luke Julian from Colorado School of Mines. There's Coca wearing number 28. Ian Haviland and Julian all side by side. Top three times. Luke Stuckey in the blue, who has number 391 on his singlet, the fourth best time. And it's upon us, folks, the men's mile for a national championship here in Virginia Beach.
Early on, Devontae Jet Reynolds setting the pace. Luke Julian also in the mix. Coca did this yesterday. Just tries to keep everybody for the most part at arm's length. Hangs back a little bit. Just about a quarter of the way through. Luke Julia, the distance runner from Rapid City, South Dakota. The best chance to really challenge Coca here. Dylan Haviland also in that group. Northwood in Michigan. Native of St. John's, Michigan, Dylan Haviland. So your first four right there, Jet Reynolds, Haviland, along with Julian and then Coca. Halfway toward a national championship. And now Coca starting to make his push. Out to the front of the pack. When does Miguel Coca really start to turn it on is the question. He and Julian one and two right now. Coca, then Julian, then Haviland. Jet Reynolds also in there. Coca and Julian. Lap at a quarter to go. And here it is. Coca with Julian on that inside shoulder. Now Miguel Coca trying to widen the gap. Around that turn, headed to the straightaway. Miguel Coca. In front of Julian, Miguel Coca down the stretch and is a national champion in the men's mile. Coca, Julian, Stuckey, and then Haviland. Widen that gap enough to be more than five tenths of a second faster. 54 hundredths if you're looking for exact numbers between Coca and Julian. Luke Stuckey, third on the medal stand. Monte Jet Reynolds ends up fifth of what's nine. So two of the top five there for Adam State. And you love to see that, that type of love for your teammates, that type of encouragement. Jet Reynolds 
you can see it, the emotion, so happy for his guy, Miguel Coca. Next up, the women's and men's 400. Women's and men's 400 both split into what's a couple of sections. Section one of what will be two, Kennedy Klein, Samantha Payne, Tiffany Hughie, Elena Werner, Klein from Northwest Missouri, Payne from Catawba down in Salisbury, North Carolina, Hughie, Northwest Missouri, and Werner, Azusa Pacific. And then Section 2, Zykea McDaniel, Corsia Perry, McDaniel from Angelo State, Perry from West Texas A&M, Shireen Valaboy, the senior from Winona State, and Cheyenne Walters, senior from Angelo State. Battleboy and, and Walters, the two to pay attention to. And then there are your men's competitors. Three different sections there. Section one, Brian Pittman, who advanced on protest, senior from West Texas A&M. 47.94, Zach Nelson, senior from Tusculum, 47.84. Duncan Agumang, senior from Academy of Art with a time of 47.86 seconds. Section number two, Hayden Albright, sophomore from Fort Hayes State, 47.77. Nicholas Clay, junior from Mississippi College, 47.71. And Xavier Marable, senior from Finley, 47.71 as well. And then the third section on the men's side, Corey Lyons, senior Pittsburgh State, 47.45. Truman Hare, the freshman from Northwest Missouri, 47.41. And Braylon Brewer, senior from Pittsburgh State, 47.43. And uh, the way that they, they seed the men's side, you have what's three sections that are power seated. So Lions, Hare, and Brewer uh, ended up with the top three times. So uh, they all end up uh, in that same section. Pittsburgh State still at the top of the event on the men's side. 40 total points, followed by what's Adams State, Colorado School of Mines, and Missouri Southern. As the men's mile winners at the podium, Coca waiting to accept his hardware, Luke Julian taking second. And there is Miguel Coca. So an Adam State sweep in the mile. Stephanie Cotter winning the women's. Miguel Coca winning the men's. Well, we told you Pittsburgh State on, on top of the men's side. Minnesota State, the gap 
not quite as pronounced anymore. West Texas A&M within six points. A&M with points in the mile, the 5,000 meters, the high jump, the long jump, and the triple jump. Minnesota State, the distance medley relay, the 60 meters, which uh, ended up helping them quite a bit, as well as the 60-meter hurdles. And then the long jump and the triple jump. So this is section one of what's two finals. Kennedy Klein, Samantha Payne, Tiffany Hugie, Elena Werner. And the schools, Klein from Northwest Missouri, Payne from Catawba, Hugie from Northwest Missouri, and Werner from Azusa Pacific. Meet record 51.78 seconds. Set by Carly Mascaro. March 11th, 2017, so six years ago to the day. Facility record, 52.7 seconds set by Jessica Wright. And Mascaro also the holder of the Division II record that same time, 51.78 seconds. Set again back in 2017. Line lane three, Payne in four, Yugi five, Werner in six. Anticipation beginning to build here at the Virginia Beach Sports Center. About an hour and change worth of coverage down. Still have a couple more to go. Still have the men's high jump, women's and men's 800 meters. Women's and men's 200, women's and men's 3,000. Women's and men's 4 by 400 meters. And then we finish up the afternoon the early evening with the team awards. Outside of your screen, men's high jump warm-ups going on. Yesterday, Concordia St. Paul's Erica Harbo won on the women's side with a leap of what was 1.78 meters. And we're ready to start section one here of the women's 400. And they're off. Werner the outside. Talented sophomore from Azusa Pacific. Inside of her, Tiffany Hugie from Northwest Missouri. And Werner quickly falling behind. 
Hugi trying to widen the gap. Tiffany Hugie making one final push. And down the straightaway to take this first section. A time of 53.68 seconds. And Klein, 55-4. And now if this were yesterday, 53.68 would have been uh, the second fastest time behind Shireen Valaboy from Winona State. On to our second section, Zykea McDaniel, lane number three, senior from Angelo State, 55.03 seconds. Corsia Perry, junior from West Texas A&M, 54.41. Shireen Valaboy, senior Winona State, 53.51. Cheyenne Walters, pictured on your screen right now, senior from Angelo State, 53.72. Just had a look at, at Valaboy before. Daughter of a Malaysian Olympic athlete, Shireen Valaboy. Mom ran for Malaysian 1988 Summer Olympics in, you guessed it, the 400 meter dash. And dad was a professional athlete for Malaysia as well. Watch Valaboy. The inside lane. Walters off to a decent start. Valaboy with that long stride. Flying down one. Walters pushing, trying to catch her. Seemingly, Shireen Valaboy's race to lose. And Valaboy punching it down the stretch. And we'll have no problem here. 52.27 seconds for Shireen Valaboy. Followed by Walters, 53.54. And then Perry, 54.51. McDaniel, Now Shireen Valaboy, national champion. Came in with the top time. And was even better today. First section on the men's side, Brian Pittman, Zach Nelson, Duncan Agumang. A 
There's a look at Nelson, the senior from Tusculum. 47.84 seconds his time. So power seating here in these three sections. Nelson, Agumang, and Pittman with the seventh through ninth best times. Pittman in four, Nelson five, Agumang six in terms of lanes. There's a look at Pittman from West Texas A&M. There's Zach Nelson. And Agumang just walking into your screen. Zach Nelson about a month ago Named his conferences Athlete of the Week. Down in the South Atlantic Conference. School records in both the 300 and 400 meters. And his 400 school record actually uh, what ended up being three tenths of a second faster uh, than what he had coming in to today. That 47.54 at the time was the sixth fastest time in Division II. Nelson, a native of St. John's, Florida. Agumang outside lane from Academy of Art. is a USF transfer, native of the country of Ghana. And is one of seven children. And then Brian Pittman from West Texas A&M. Grad student and a transfer from Catawba College, Jamestown, North Carolina native. Was an All-American at Catawba. Set 400 meter and four by 400 meter relay records. And pursuing an MBA at West Texas A&M. So inside out, Pittman, Nelson, and Agumang. Here we go, off and running in the men's 400 meters. Agumang outside lane. Nelson and Pittman the insides. Agumang early on, but Nelson pushing. Nelson trying to stay on the inside shoulder.
is Agumang running out of gas. Nelson giving chase from behind. Agumang pushing down the straightaway. And will have enough. 47.33 seconds. Track running much faster today for Duncan Agumag. And correction. And that's quite a pace for Agumang. So that's your time to beat. Section two, Hayden Albright from Fort Hayes State. Nicholas Clay, junior from Mississippi College, and Xavier Marable, the senior from Finley. You're in the second section, you don't really get the, the benefit of the extra time that the first ones do. Pretty much down, up, go. Here we go. Marabo outside. Clay the inside. Albright furthest inside. Clay with the early push around the turn. And moving really well on the inside. Nicholas Clay. Decent gap coming around this final turn. Toward the straightaway. Clay digging in. Marable giving chase. Clay. 47.23. And official. So right now, Agumang's time would still be good for what's second from the first section. But Nicholas Clay. So far, the top time. Corey Lyons getting a couple of runs. Senior from Pittsburgh State. He and his teammate Braylon Brewer in this section. Brewer, the senior from Maud, Oklahoma. Lions out of Sacramento and a transfer from the University of St. Mary. That's an NAIA school where he was a 10 time NAIA All American and an NAIA national champ, part of the 4x400 relay. Brewer transfer from Bethel College. And then Truman Hare, who is an up and coming underclassman from Northwest Missouri. Hare from Liberty, Missouri, the freshman. Here we go. 
Will one of these three be the national champion? Time to beat 47.24 seconds. Lions on the inside. Ian Hare. Right now the youngster Hare pushing to the front. Hare digging in. Watch Lions on the straightaway though. Truman Hare down the stretch. Pushing forward. 46.99 seconds for Truman Hare from Northwest Missouri for a national championship. Hare from Liberty, Missouri, Liberty High School. And only a freshman. And I'm sure a day that he will remember for a long time. Hugs all around from his teammates. Liberty in the Kansas City metro area. And population about 30,000 people. Over to the podium for on the women's side, 400 meters. Where Shireen Valaboy, the daughter of a couple of Malaysian Olympic athletes, or at least of uh, one Malaysian Olympic athlete, another Malaysian professional athlete, will stand at the top of the podium. Cheyenne Walters from Angelo State finishing second. And then Tiffany Hugey from Northwest Missouri, the junior, in third place. All smiles for Shireen Valaboy. And while we have the time, let's recap the women's shot put. Kyla Sawvell. Senior from Chadburn State with a throw of 15.34, which was good enough for what was second. Then Catherine Higgins from CSU Pueblo, 15.63 meters on her toss. And your national champion, Trista Fintel. A personal best for her, for the freshman, from make it sophomore from Finley. 16.04 meters to stand at the top of the podium as a national champion. Now Fintel 16.04, Higgins 15.63, and Sawville 15.34. There's your women's shot put here with the D2 Indoor Track and Field National Championships.
Women's 800 meters is upon us. Eight different runners. One section here in the finals. Isabel Marsh, junior from Adelphi, time of 211.31. Ines Macadam, sophomore from Tiffin, 211.46. Luis Saris Toledo, sophomore from Northwest Missouri, 211.00. Josie Johnson, senior from Westminster, 210.14. Ariel Wright, senior Colorado School of Mines, 208.3. Then Tara Chapko, Grand Valley State, Helen Braybrook. And we have a false start. Sophomore from CSU Pueblo. And Vanessa Anatai from Seattle Pacific, the senior. So Marsh, McAdam, Toledo, Johnson, Wright, Chapko, Braybrook, and Anatai. Looks like all our officials just about ready again. That's Luis Aris Toledo, Northwest Missouri. Josie Johnson from Westminster, just pictured. Helen Braybrook from CSU Playbo. Top time, 207.79 coming in. And, of course, that's Braybrook at the front, wearing number seven. Seattle Pacific's Vanessa Anatai right behind her. Anatai surging to the front. Eagle River, Alaska. Vanessa Anatai's hometown. Suburb of Anchorage. But right now she's back behind Braybrook again. Halfway point here are the women's 800. Helen Braybrook, the CSU Pueblo sophomore. She and Ariel Wright, senior from Colorado School of Mines, at the top two times coming in. Anatai pushing, final lap. Challenged by Braybrook. Chapko, who's part of that record setting Grand Valley State distance medley team, also giving chase. Anatai. And Braybrook. Anatai down the stretch. Braybrook trying to push. Anatai is the national champion in the women's 800. Two oh six point eight four. Almost a full three seconds faster than her previous time.
And Braybrook out doing her time as well, but just not quite enough. Heading to the medal stand. After the men's 400. Truman Hare from Northwest Missouri waiting to accept his. Nicholas Clay finishing at third from Mississippi College. Followed by Braylon Brewer, Pittsburgh State. And then the freshman Hare with a time of 46.99 seconds. That's your men's 400. Men's 800 meter run. Ten different runners here. Kendall Brannon, junior from Indiana, PA, 205.04. Dylan Burroughs, junior Oklahoma Christian, 152.52. Titus Legat, a junior from Lee in Tennessee, 152.74. Kawani Campbell, sophomore from Lincoln in Missouri, 152.81. David Cardenas, junior from Adams State, 154.36. Braxton Brewer, junior from MSU Moorhead, 152.7, 17, I should say. And Butare Reganerwa, senior from West Texas A&M, 152.53. Reese Sharman Newell, sophomore CSU Pueblo, 151.41. And Usama El Buchaibai, freshman from Angelo State, 151.04. And West Ferguson finishing it out, sophomore from Nebraska Kearney, 152.06. Still to come, the women's and men's 200, women's and men's 3,000. And then the women's and men's 4x400 four meter relay this afternoon into the evening. Brandon Burroughs, Legat, Campbell, Cardenas, Brewer, Ruganerwa, Sharman Newell, El Buchaibai, and Ferguson. That's your men's 800 meters this afternoon. men's pole vault if you're paying attention going on in the middle of your screen.
Off and running. Men's 800 meters. Where the freshman from Angelo State, El Buchaibai, who's out in front, was the one coming in with the top time. The Moroccan El Buchaibai. Almost at the halfway point. <laughs> Trying to widen the gap. That's Kendall Brandon from IUP who was behind him. <laughs> Wes Ferguson from Nebraska Kearney behind El Buchaibai. Sharman Newell, also there. Ferguson. Trying to push the Moroccan. Ferguson coming around the turn. But El Buchaibai turning it on. And Usama El Buchaibai, your national champion in the men's 800. Almost a full four tenths of a second faster than Ferguson. Rugen Erwa, then Sharman Newell, Burroughs, Cardenas, Brannon, and Campbell. End up your top eight. Legat and Brewer, nine and 10. I have to remind everybody just to even be on this stage and to be able to compete for a national championship. The best of the best here over these two days, these young men and women. And want to take the time to salute their hard work and everything that they've put into this. And even looking there at, at Kendall Brandon from IUP, Indiana, PA. Looked like he, he gave it so much that ended up limping a little bit. And watching him walk off, off screen under our vantage point. Hope that young man is okay. Ladies approaching the track for the women's 200. So what's a pair of sections, four sprinters each. You have two of the top four times in this one and then two of the top four in the other section. Kiara Smith, junior from Missouri Southern, lane three, 24.08. Leah Grayville from Shippensburg, PA, 24 seconds flat. Ayana Fields, junior from Cal Poly Pomona, 23.68. And then Devon Franklin, senior from Cal PA, 23.75. Fields with what is the top time uh, in this particular section. Ayana Fields, LA native. And the Cal Poly Pomona Bronco. Just a junior conference champion 
in the 100, 200, and 400 this year. And an All-American uh, on the collegiate circuit in both the 200 and the 400. Leah Graybill, impressive in her respective heat yesterday as well. Lidditz, Pennsylvania native. And the junior from Shippensburg. Major. So there's your first section. Smith, Graybill, Fields, and Franklin here in heat number one. Where again, you're running against the time for a national championship. And then your second heat, Denisha Cartwright has the top time overall by what's about almost uh, two tenths of a second at 23.5. So that gives you an idea of what the rest of the field is up against. There's Franklin, who's already been on the medal stand today on the podium. Taking a, a runner-up trophy home in what was the 60 meters. Down into the blocks, Smith, Graybill, Fields, and Franklin. And outside in, Franklin, Fields, Graybill, Smith. Officials ready. And here we go. Heat number one of the women's 200. Franklin from Cal PA, the outside lane. Fields, who has the top time in this one, looking like it. Flying. 23.36 seconds for Ayana Fields. by better than three-tenths of a second compared to yesterday. Franklin, 23.49. Now, what kind of adrenaline will Denisha Cartwright have after watching that? Entered with the top time, 23.5 seconds coming out of yesterday. She'll be in lane five as we look at Alexis Brown. There's Cartwright.
She and Michaela Jackson, both already national champions today. 60 meter hurdles for Cartwright, 60 meters for Jackson. Selena Aryona Alcazar, junior from Academy of Art, lane three. Marie Eloise Leclerc, sophomore from Simon Fraser, lane four. Cartwright in lane five, and Alexis Brown from Lenore Rhine in lane number six. There's Arjona Alcazar. Officials ready. Heat number two, 23.36, the time to beat. Cartwright pushing around the turn. Brown with the early lead, Cartwright taking over. Denisha Cartwright flying around the track. Brown a little more down the stretch. 23.25 seconds. A national champion, Alexis Brown, as a freshman. And you hear somebody in the crowd pretty happy for Alexis Brown. Might have even surprised herself, I think, with that performance. Mableton, Georgia freshman from South Cobb High School. Gets to the top of the podium. And gets a hug. It was first her head coach, Kevin Patterson. So Alexis Brown. Official time, 23.26 seconds. Podium time in the men's 800. Dutare Ruganerwa. Senior from West Texas A&M. Third place in the 800. Wes Ferguson, sophomore from Nebraska, Kearney, with the second place trophy, the runner up. And Usama El Buchaibai, the freshman from Angelo State, with a time of 151.04 coming in, and was even better than that. Rakan El Buchaibai getting a hug from his head coach. And that's your men's 800. Brings us to the two sections of the men's finals. Eight total sprinters. Meet record 20.48 seconds. Set what was almost two years ago by Trevor Bassett on March 13th, 2021. Facility record 20.71 set by Stephen Gardner. And the D2 record also set by Trevor Bassett. 
That was 20.4 seconds earlier uh, in the year in 2021. Jeremiah Lazan from West Texas A&M, the junior, 21.4 seconds, lane three. The sophomore from Alabama Huntsville, Michael Gizzi, in lane number four, 21.14. Kurt Modesti, senior from Limestone in North Carolina, 20.97. And then A.J. Evans, junior from Pittsburgh State, 21.11. So the top time, Modesti with 20.97. He is in lane five, and what's the white singlet? Second section will have the top two times. Makanakash Charamba, sophomore from Carson Newman. And Dario Matau, who ended up second in what was the 60 meters, but had the top time there. So those will be the top two in the second section. Still to come, women's and men's 3,000 meter runs, as well as the women and men's 4x400 four meter relays. Zahn, Gizzi, Modesti, and Evans. Inside out. <laughs> Off and running in heat one, our 200 meter final. Evans the outside lane from Pittsburgh State. Inside push coming from Modesti. Evans, Modesti. And Modesti with just enough, 20.89 seconds. One hundredth of a second faster than A.J. Evans. So there it is, Modesti, Evans, Gizzi, and Lazan. Which was how it ran uh, in terms of their times coming in. Doesn't always work out that way, but in that particular case it did.
Now to the second heat. Texas A&M, Carson Newman and Lenore Ryan here. Joel Dos Santos, sophomore, Northwest Missouri, 21.29 seconds. He's in lane three. Isaac Bonsio, pay attention to him, already National champion as a freshman from West Texas A&M, 21.13. Makanakash Charamba, sophomore from Carson Newman, lane five, 20.66. And then on your screen right now, Dario Matau, sophomore from Lenore Ryan, 20.79. Approaching the 6 o'clock hour, down to what is four total events after this one. Women's and men's 3,000, and then the 4 by 400 meter relay for both. And our team awards finishing everything up at the top of the 7 o'clock hour. Dos Santos, Bazio, Charamba, and Matau. Time to beat 20.99. Matau from Lenore Ryan, the outside lane. Matau pushing. But Charamba, your national champion. At 20.55 seconds, McConaughey's Charamba. Matau, the runner-up, 20.75. Good enough for what is third place. Women are at the podium after completing their 200 meters. Fourth place to Cal PA's Devon Franklin. Denisha Cartwright in third from Minnesota State. Second place Ayana Fields, the junior from Cal Poly Pomona. And as a surprise, Alexis Brown, who had the second best overall time Upsetting Cartwright and Fields. Brown, a national champion.
Ladies making their way to the starting line for the women's 3,000 meter run. Meet record 915.45 set on March 9th, 2019 by Caroline Kurgut. Facility record 903.43 by Ellie Hines. And then a D2 record also by Caroline Kurgut, 907.05 back in 2019. Doucette, O'Malley, Kurtabi. And the rest of the field, Kylie Anisik, Ava O'Connor, Amanda Montplacer, Stephanie Cotter, Natalie Graber, Zoe Baker. Katie Doucette, Claudia O'Malley, Eleonora Kurtabi, Lindsey Cunningham, Precious Robinson, Najwa Chawadi, Lauren Kindly, Reina Paredes, Molly Maxson, Brianna Robles, Emily Sholkoff, and Madison Brown. Kurtabi with the top time coming in. Followed by Lindsey Cunningham from Winona State, who we saw win a national championship yesterday. That was in the women's 5,000. And of course, Robles also obviously ever dangerous. Twenty runner field here in the women's three thousand. Pay attention to Robles wearing number eighteen. Stephanie Cotter, her teammate, number four. Already a national champion today in the women's mile. Lindsay Cunningham. Also in the front of that pack, won yesterday from Winona State. That was the women's 5,000. Cunningham and Cotter early on. Minute and a half in. Also in that pack, Madison Brown from Dallas Baptist, wearing number 20. Tabby's time, 908.1 coming in. Close to 25 seconds faster than the bottom time of these 20 runners. Cotter trying to stay on that inside shoulder of Cunningham. 
Robles right behind both of them. Also in your picture, Natalie Graber, who ran the final leg of that distance medley relay yesterday for Grand Valley State to give them a national championship. And what ended up being a meet record. About a third of the way through. 18 runners still to follow on the men's side. Then we have both the 4 by 400 meter relay teams. Cunningham, Cotter, Robles. And Uachinesa. Those are the first four. Graber's right there too, as is Ava O'Connor from Adams State. O'Connor and their distance medley relay team finishing right behind Grand Valley State yesterday. Cotter, Cunningham, Robles, Uwageneza, Graber, O'Connor. That's one through six. Cunningham getting outside of Cotter and trying to surge ahead, but Cotter that longer stride. There's Cunningham again down the straightaway. Cotter right now about eight hundredths of a second faster. He's already locked up national championship hardware in the women's mile. Trying to do it in the 3,000 meters as well. Still Cotter and Cunningham and Robles. As it's been. Natalie Graber from Grand Valley State also in the mix. In that pack of four.
Robles trying to start in on that inside. And now you've got the top two from Adams State. Cotter and Robles. Cunningham has fallen back to third. Graber in fourth. Cotter being pushed by her teammate Robles. And just like the miles, Stephanie Cotter really starting to turn it on. Last lap. Two teammates going for a national championship. Cotter and Robles. Cotter to the finish line. And a national championship in the 3,000 meters for the Irish national, Stephanie Cotter. Nine oh six point oh three, her final time. And with that, a new Division II record as well. Meet record, Division II record. And even Robles along for the ride with what's the second best time in the history of Division II now. What will the men bring this afternoon? 18 distance runners there. Loik Skamparin, the sophomore from Colorado School of Mines, has the top time, 751.84. Miguel Coca, from out of state who took the men's mile. Second best time, 752.13. Five, Cole Benoit, junior from Mississippi College. Having a moment with his teammates. Entering with a time of There's Miguel Coca. Las Vegas, New Mexico native. And already owner of a national championship. 
Working under the great Damon Martin at Adams State. Seems like if, if you want to run distance at the D2 level, Adams State is the place you go. Watch some of the runners today that, that Damon Martin has turned out. Coca on the men's side, Stephanie Cotter, Brianna Robles. Eva O'Connor. Tyler Nord from Western Colorado, who will be part of what is this 18 runner field. Dylan Haviland, who also ran in the mile. And was pretty impressive in his own right there, talking to Coca. And there's Coca's teammate, Cameron Allen, the junior from Adams State. 802.34 his time coming in. Now into the 6 o'clock hour. And it's still a few minutes before uh, we end up getting started. Luke Julian from Colorado School of Mines. Who pushed Coca in the mile. But in the end, Miguel Coca a little too much. Always marvel at the distance runners. And their ability to just continue to do this. Multiple races on one day, no problem. It's what they train for. And speaking of training and hard work, all of it rewarded. Ava O'Connor from Adams State. Along with Florence Uagineza in fifth. Lindsey Cunningham in what's fourth. Natalie Graber from Grand Valley State taking third place. And then the Adams State duo, Brianna Robles, gets a hug from her coach, David Martin. And your women's 3,000 meter national champion, Stephanie Cotter, her second title of the day after winning the women's mile. their way to the starting line, just about ready to go. For our final individual event of the night. Still have the team 4x400 four meter relays to come. And then team awards following that.
So a double fall, double waterfall starting line here. To manage what's the overflow of the runners in your distance events. Group of 11 of them right there. And then what's five more? A little further up the way. All in all, 16 competing for what's this national championship here in Division Two. The men's 3,000 meters is underway. Watch Coca, fifth from the front. Clement Digu from Adams State, second one back right now. Jan Lucas Becker, who was on the podium for the men's 5,000. Also among the leaders. And Evan Graff from UC Colorado Springs. Right now out in front. And you can see Luke Julian wearing number eight. Actually wearing number five and number 145 making his move as well. Still Graf. Now Ryan Riddle from Missouri Southern moving in front. Loic Scamparin, who had the top time coming in from Colorado School of Mines. Second one from the leader. Riddle from Missouri Southern, Scamparin from Colorado School of Mines. And while we have the time, let's take a look at the men's triple jump. And our results from what was earlier today. And to the men's triple jump we go. Shamar Miller, senior from Benedict, down the runway for this leap of 15.6 meters, which for him ended up being a personal best and good enough for third. The sophomore from Academy of Art, Yakuba Nako, a leap of 15.75 meters, a personal best. The runner-up here in D2, and then Trayvon Ferguson, the junior jumper from Pittsburgh State. 15.88 meters, what was a facility record and a personal best. He is your national champion in the men's triple jump. Ferguson 15.88, Nako 15.75, Miller at 15.6. And not much change here yet in the 3,000. Still Ryan Riddle and Loic Scamparin. Wondering when uh, Miguel Coca is going to decide to make his push. Right now about the seventh one back. 
I would think it won't be long. More than halfway past here in the men's 3,000. Our final individual event of the evening. Skamparin on that outside shoulder of Riddle. Alwet Baraki, the junior from Adams State, also moving into the top three there. Riddle, Skamparan, and Baraki. Zach Kreft, the senior from Walsh, in the top four. As is Hamza Shaheed, who won the distance medley relay on the final leg for Wingate yesterday. So far, Ryan Riddle's race. Junior from Missouri Southern still in the lead. Riddle, the native of Webb City, Missouri. Against Scumparin, who came in with the top time. Lloyd Scamparin, Dublin, California, environmental engineering major. And now Baraki making a push to the front of the pack. Awet Baraki. Going into the final minute here. Baraki, the Colorado Springs native, falling back, and guess who? Miguel Coca. Wondered when the push was going to come. Here it is. Coca and Skamparin. Shahid in third. Coming through the final turn. Coca and Skamparin. Coca. Pushing over the finish line for a national championship in the men's 3,000 meters. Not quite. One lap to go. Now Shahid running in front. Hamza Shahid. Shahid running away with this. The Wingate freshman is a national champion in the men's 3,000 meters. Coca finishes a second and change behind Tyler Nord, the Western Colorado freshman in third. Apologies there, folks. Last lap uh, ended up getting the best of me. But Hamza Shahid, who came in with a time of 756.25, pushing the gas pedal down the straightaway.
plenty of time between now and what's the women's 4 by 400 meter relay, and that's the perfect time to update what's our team scores. Start on the women's side. Adam State, 52 points. Eight from the DMR, 11 from the mile, 3,000 meters, 21, 12 in the 5,000 to give them 52. Minnesota State, 51. West Texas A&M with 41, and Grand Valley State with 35. So neck in neck uh, on the women's side between Minnesota State and Adam State. A little more pronounced of a gap on the men's side. Pittsburgh State, 66 points, 10 from the 60 meters, 5 from the 200, 11 from the 400, 20 from the 60 meter hurdles, 10 apiece from the long jump and triple jump for 66 points. Then Adam State, Missouri Southern, and uh, Northwest Missouri, as well as uh, Lenore Rhine. You have what is three total schools in a tie for what's third place, all with 21 points. So those, your men's and women's team leaders, looks like uh, we can basically almost already declare Pittsburgh State the winner on the men's side. But going to be interesting to see who ends up prevailing with those women's results. Minnesota State, the defending champion. What was a year ago? Last year, Minnesota State, women's champion, Grand Valley State, was the men's title. Four by 400 meter relay on the women's side. We'll have what's four different sections, four heats. Southern Connecticut State, Mount Olive, Hillsdale in one of them. Pittsburgh State, Azusa Pacific, Lee in Tennessee, and Ashland in the second. Third heat, Colorado Mesa, Lincoln, Missouri, West Texas A&M, and then Cal Poly Pomona, and the fourth one, Minnesota State, Northwest Missouri, Angelo State, and Winona State. The meet record, 337.12, set by Lincoln and Missouri, March 9th of 2019, so over four years ago. Facility record, 338.67, set by Howard, and the D2 overall record, also Lincoln, Missouri's same time back in 2019, 337.12. That team, Walters, McDaniel, Spence, and Findlay. So actually a different team than the one that had the meet record. The one uh, that set the meet record, Moss, Brown, Medley, and Ambersley. Fastest time in this first heat, Mount Olive, 346.25. Hillsdale, 346.35. And then Southern Connecticut State, Southern Connecticut State in the white singlets. 
Avery Winters will be running their first leg. Isabella Newberry second. Podium for the men's 3,000 meters. Impressive display from Hamza Shahid. There's Miguel Coca, the runner up. And there's Shahid, your national champion in the men's 3000. Hillsdale's Gwen Riley, who will start. Winners for Southern Connecticut State. And Mount Olive will have Vanessa, Vanessa Briggs. Inside out, Southern Connecticut State, Mount Olive, and Hillsdale. First of what's four heats here for the women. Men will have what's three. Pittsburgh State, Azusa Pacific, Lee in Tennessee, and Ashland in the second heat. Colorado Mesa, Lincoln, Missouri, West Texas A&M, Cal Poly Pomona in the third. Minnesota State, Northwest Missouri, Angelo State, Winona State in the fourth. That's the women's side. Men's side, section one, St. Augustine's, Minnesota State, then Lincoln, Missouri, West Texas A&M. Second heat, Grand Valley State, Lenore Rhine, Northwest Missouri, and Angelo State. And then the third, Fort Hayes State, Mississippi College, Pittsburgh State, and Academy of Art. There you have Southern Connecticut State, Mount Olive, and Hillsdale.
Just about ready to start this off, running a little bit ahead of schedule. Southern Connecticut State, Mount Olive, and Hillsdale. Avery winners, Southern Connecticut State, Vanessa Briggs from Mount Olive, and Gwyn Riley from Hillsdale. And off they go. It's Riley on the outside for Hillsdale. Briggs the middle, winners for Southern Connecticut State inside. That long stride for Briggs. Johnny Jefferson, make it Jaden Moody, will run second leg for Mount Olive. Isabella Newberry, second leg for Southern Connecticut State. And Dakota Stam for Hillsdale. That's Newberry. That's Stam from Hillsdale behind her. Stam into the third leg. And Hannah Kaiola from Southern Connecticut. Shawnee Jefferson from Mount Olive racing ahead. Third leg, usually the one that helps you make up ground or maintain, depending. Jefferson pushing. Jalen Reeves will run the fourth and final for Mount Olive. But Southern Connecticut with the handoff. To Ella McLean. But Reeves picking up ground. Down the stretch. Reeves and McLean. One more lap. And Reeves running out of gas. McLean still going. Yeah. 
Ella McLean and Southern Connecticut State going to have the tough time coming out of this first heat. 349.35. So 349.35, the time to beat. Everybody ready for our second heat. Pittsburgh State, Azusa Pacific, Lee in Tennessee, and Ashland. Blakely win will run lead leg for Pittsburgh State. Elena Werner, who's been part of plenty of the sprints over these last two days, starting for Azusa Pacific. Kaya Martz for Lee, the freshman, will open up their first leg, and then Cheyenne Davis for Ashland, the senior, opening up the race for them. And still to come. What will be 11 total teams on the men's side. Women with what is 15. Inside out, Pittsburgh State, Azusa Pacific, Lee, and Ashland. <laughs> Off and running in our second heat. Cheyenne Davis for Ashland, opening it up for them. Alina Werner, who's one of Azusa Pacific's best. Still off to the good start. And good lead for Alyssa Henry. Look at Esther Condi Turpin, who runs the second leg. Such a long stride for Conde Turpin. Remember, time to beat from the first heat, 349.35.
Alyssa Henry now into the third leg for Azusa Pacific. Check that, that's actually Warwick. So Nicole Warwick. Susan Pacific still with the good lead. But making up some ground. That's the junior Kiara Holmes. Final lap. Holmes out in front of Ashland's Mia Gardner. Coming toward the straightaway, can Gardner close the gap? The answer is no. Azusa Pacific, 344.64. So a full five seconds better from the first heat. Ashland second in that heat, 345.6. Lee, 347.15, and then Pittsburgh State, 349.59. Two down, two to go. This time, Colorado Mesa, Lincoln, Missouri, West Texas A&M, and Cal Poly Pomona. Their times, Colorado Mesa coming in 344.86, Lincoln 344.83, West Texas A&M 344.68, and Cal Poly Pomona 344.76. Kiara Holmes putting every extra ounce of effort into that anchor leg. Lane three, McKenna Mulder from Colorado Mesa. Lane four, Sophia Myers from Lincoln. Corsia Perry for West Texas A&M. And Jalen Thomas, Cal Poly Pomona. Minnesota State, Northwest Missouri, Angelo State, and Winona State still to come in our final heat. 344-64, again the time to beat.
And off they go. Outside lane, Jalen Thomas, Cal Poly Pomona. Inside, Corsia Perry, the junior from West Texas A&M. Perry busting it out of the gate. Alana Wilson will be the next leg for West Texas A&M. Perry to the senior Wilson on the exchange. And Wilson being challenged a little bit. Coming into frame, Arissa Hatcher, the freshman from Cal Poly Pomona. But not gonna catch Wilson. Third leg, the junior in the All-American, Leah Belfield. New Zealander Belfield. It's Belfield, the indoor and outdoor 200 meter national champion. From what was a year ago? And 344.64, the time to beat. Now it's Jordan Brown, the junior, running anchor. Brown with what's a sizable cushion over the rest of the field. Final lap. Brown digging hard on that second to last straightaway. Final turn. Jordan Brown from West Texas A&M will push across the finish line. 343.92. West Texas A&M, Cal Poly Pomona, Colorado Mesa, and Lincoln from Missouri. Right into our fourth and final heat, our fastest flight. Minnesota State, Northwest Missouri, Angelo State, and Winona State are up. Minnesota State team with several rock stars. Denisha Cartwright, Michaela Jackson, legs two and three. And they have about three or four different options for who they could choose to run anchor.
Angelo State has Cheyenne Walters running lead. Winona State. Regan fight. It's a big event for Minnesota State, simply from a, a team perspective. A rather large gap on the men's side, but just a point separating Minnesota State from Adams State. Been a big day for the Adams State Grizzlies. With individual wins in the women's 3,000 as well as the women's mile. Ready to go to finish out our second to last event of the night. Men's four by four still to come. <laughs> Cheyenne Walters from Angelo State. And Northwest Missouri's Chloe Sines. And Minnesota State by design has Cartwright running that second leg. So if they need to make up ground, she would be the one to do it. Walters coming around the final turn. Their second leg, Zykeia McDaniel. And here's McDaniel. Kennedy Klein, the freshman, running the second leg for Northwest Missouri. Daniel trailed by Klein. Klein not too far behind, coming toward this, this second to last straightaway. Got that nice long stride. Almost even at the baton exchange. Maricia Spence and Olivia Saddlefield up against one another. Minnesota State running way behind. Here comes Northwest Missouri. And correction, that's actually Kennedy Klein on this leg. Now running anchor, Tiffany Hugie. Angelo State with Shade Finley. Finley and Hugie. Once again, time to beat 343.92. Hugie pushing the pace for Northwest Missouri. Finley for Angelo State. Final turn. Hugie to the straightaway. Hugie to the finish line for Northwest Missouri State. 
336.76 national champions and what's a new meet record Not only a new meet record, a new Division II record. First of what's three heats in the men's 4x400. St. Augustine's Minnesota State, Lincoln, Missouri, West Texas A&M today in the first one. Way Hussey running lead leg for Minnesota State. Sean Walls for St. Augustine's. Kawani Campbell for Lincoln and Missouri. And the freshman Isaac Bonsio was a national champion uh, earlier today. Actually, not Bonsio this time. Looks like Odell James. Hussey followed by James, Minnesota State, and then West Texas A&M. Second leg for Minnesota State. That's Ponte de Vega. Junior Ponte de Vega. Lincoln pushing with Reuben Nichols. Nichols staying on that inside shoulder of Ponte de Vega. And Minnesota State third leg. Kenry Atubal. And Lincoln surging ahead. Kawani Campbell in front of a tubal. Campbell heading toward the anchor leg. A 
That's Troy White, White running anchor right now for Lincoln. Final lap. White out in front of the pack. Trying to set the pace for the rest of the field. First of what's three heats. And make it a push, Minnesota State. Down the stretch, it's Minnesota State pushing through. Rashawn Walker at a time of 311.5. So Minnesota State, West Texas A&M, Lincoln, and then St. Augustine's. That's how our first one finishes. Earlier today, had the men's shot put. Start with the third place finisher, Justin Jenks. The junior from CSU Pueblo. A toss of 18.75 meters. Then Ralph Casper. From Westchester, the Golden Rams, 19.59. That was a personal best, good enough for runner-up. And Miles Kerner, Grand Valley State sophomore, 19.71 for a facility record and a personal best. It's Kerner who stands at the top of the podium as a national champion. Once again, Kerner, 19.71 meters. Casper from Westchester, 19.59. And Jenks at 18.75 from CSU Pueblo. Second heat, Grand Valley State, Lenore Rhine, Northwest Missouri, and Angelo State. Top time in this one, Northwest Missouri, 311.30. Angelo State, the outside lane. Emmett Seals is the one running lead for them. It's the senior Seals. Angelo State team had the second best relay time in this heat coming in. Northwest Missouri, the sophomore Prince Griffin. Coming on that outside shoulder. And now it's the freshman Truman Hare. Check that, Federico Crisci. Angelo State with Charles Fring Frimpong right now. And Lenore Ryan surging ahead. That's Dario Matau who ran in both the 200 and the 60 meter finals and ended up on the podium. Matau really pushing. Third leg is Jacob Wadsworth, the junior for Lenore Ryan. Either Lucas Bisong or Marcus Crumpler going to run anchor for them.
Wadsworth, that second to last straightaway. Grand Valley State pushing. Falu Guy, the one to put Grand Valley State in the lead here. Now the sophomore, Miles Rhodes. Lucas Bisong running anchor for Lenore Ryan. Bisong and Rhodes into the final lap. Rhodes the first straightaway. Bisong. And El Buchaibai. The Moroccan surging to the front. But Rhodes with just enough. 311.07. Heading into our third and final heat. Angelo State. Despite the effort from El Buchai by 600. That pushes us into our final heat. Fort Hayes State, Mississippi College, Pittsburgh State, and Academy of Art. Here to finish up the day. Three eleven point zero seven. Now the new time to beat. Pittsburgh State and their relay team with the fastest time of these three heats coming in, 307.72. And if you've seen how many of their uh, relay members have been in the individual sprints today, you would understand why. Sam Tudor, Bailey Stone, Corey Lyons, Braylon Brewer. Ala Rashoon, and then A.J. Evans making up Pittsburgh State. Academy of Art also there. Macarios Page, Modiog Biobo, Robin, Robin Black, Cherise Ham, Johnny Insay, and Crockett Schooler. For Academy of Art, Mississippi College, Fabio Palmieri, Gabe Hodson, Connor Stewart, Nicholas Clay, Robert Grames, Brandon Williams, the options they have. At Fort Hayes State, Hayden Albright, Philip Landrum, Ethan Lang, Nolan Churchman, Trevor Medina Jr., Aaron Mangan, Caden Wren, and Isaac Radke. Inside out, Fort Hayes State, Mississippi College, Pittsburgh State, and Academy of Art. This will finish out our night, folks. A season worth of hard work, and in some cases longer. Culminating over two days here in Virginia Beach. Wrapping up the men's 4x400 meter relay. Here we go. And outside early on. Academy of Art, Macarios Page. One lap through.
Page with the baton stick. Omodiang Bayobo. Leg two for Academy of Art. Their time, 309.76 coming in. Nicholas Clay running that second leg for Mississippi College. Gaining on Oboe. Now Clay surging to the front. Clay digging with those pink spikes. Third leg for Mississippi College. It's Hodson, the sophomore Gabe Hodson, but overtaken again by Academy of Art, this time Cherise Ham. But Pittsburgh State moving forward, the senior Corey Lyons. No surprise, fastest time for the Gorillas coming in. 307.72. And the anchor leg. Braylon Brewer, the one charged with trying to deliver a national championship for Pittsburgh State. Brewer through one lap, final one. Ahead of a Johnny Ince. Actually, that's Agumang. Brewer steps through. And the national championship to Pittsburgh State. Three oh nine point six three is the new facility record. NT Even Mississippi College all pumped up. With that 311.11 that they posted. Academy of Art 309.72. Port Hayes State 313.58. Those were your four best or the four in that heat, I should say. And that puts us into our final team scores for the night. Pittsburgh State your men's national champion here in 2023, the D2 Indoor Track and Field Championships by a wide margin. Adam State, the runner-up, 42 points. Grand Valley State, last year's men's national champion in third place with 29. Top of the podium. On the women's side. 
for Tiffany Hugie and the Northwest Missouri State, or Northwest Missouri, I should say, relay team in the women's 4x400. Followed by Angelo State. And how about that on the women's side? Adam State with just enough to vault over Minnesota State by one point. So Adam State, the Grizzlies, here in 2023, your D2 indoor track and field champion on the women's side. West Texas A&M in third place with 46 points. Azusa Pacific, 37. And Minnesota State, a uh, year after uh, a national championship, having to settle for runner-up this year with 51. But that will do it for us here tonight. We will uh, stick around for coverage of uh, the team awards and the announcements. But, folks, uh, it was my pleasure to bring it to you the last couple days for everybody here at the NCAA, as well as our production crew at Tupelo Raycom. Matt Martucci saying so long. This has been your presentation of the 2023 Men's and Women's Indoor Track and Field National Championships here from Virginia Beach. Good night.
take this sign? I asked one of the officials. Are we allowed to take this sign? Even if it's one of the, so we asked one of the officials. They said if it takes, if it says Virginia Beach, even if it says Virginia Beach, we can't take it. All right. That's not, I mean, I understand, like, you can't take the ones, like, that says NCAA, because, yeah. like, you reuse them, but how is this ever going to get reused? Uh, okay, yeah, I just don't, I, I just don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah, I mean, thanks for asking. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that.
Flicker. Can we have our top four teams go against teams in competition? Please work your way towards the opponent. We want to do the team award recognition here. So we can beat our top four performing teams on the women's side to work towards the award for the opponent. Can we Okay, guys, if you want to try to do it, you can do it. 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 You can do it.